name's Steve. My name's Arnaz. And today we're gonna destroy some value. Oh, can we destroy that value? Sure. Jesus Christ. Arnaz is showing me a Jessica Negri picture, so you can imagine. <laughs> uh, anyways, get, uh, oh, wait, were we? I'm off track now. <laughs> you were like, here's some boobies, and I'm like, right. <laughs> <laughs> anyways, uh, today we're going to be unboxing um, all these we got at Walmart. Uh, this is the San Diego Comic Con from last year with the Green Lantern in it. Green Lantern Predator Pack. Found that at Walmart. The Ultimate Big Chap. Uh, the Rhino Alien. And this Destroyer that Arnez wanted to get for God, Viewing purposes God, only. God reasons. It's beautiful. Look at that face. It looks like... If you know what's I, sad? I don't think... Okay, so... You know what's funny? We don't even need to open this one. Look at it. Look at it. It's already, it's already exposed out of the package. It looks like if a freaking face hugger impregnated Godzilla. Eh, we'll take the rubber band off so you can see one of the wings. There you go, guys. Saving some time on unboxings. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this one will get a full review, so I kind of want to leave it in the box for that, because for the most part, like these guys, I can repurpose the boxes for those anyways. Um, so I guess... I guess I'm most excited about this one because this is, and this will actually be one of the ones that's going to end up on Super. Go. So let's do that one first. I thought it would be the best for the last. Well, I think the Rhino's the one I'm like most excited to see how they did it. It's just, oh, yeah. It's just this one's kind of dope, so I want to open it up. I'm more excited about Rhino than anything. Yeah, the one was like the big chat, but I'm like, there's enough new stuff there that I'm kind of invested. But as you guys can see, we got the Green Lantern, which I'm going to be honest, I know barely anything about Green Lantern. I just wanted this because I wanted the Green Lantern Predator. Wait, wait, wait. You're telling me that you never seen the Ryan Ren Reynolds movie? Uh, no. No, I have not. You know, in my life, short little lifespan, I walked out of, out of movie theater three times. And one of them was Dragon Wars, and the other one was the... Uh, Green Lantern movie. Jesus. <laughs> I'm, I'm the gonna, other one was actually just a few weeks ago before I was on lockdown bloodshot. It's sad because I've only ever not... I've walked out of one movie and it wasn't because it was bad because I went and saw Incredibles. Right? So Incredibles, yeah. great movie. Problem was we made it towards the end and I had a date with me and she started trying to do stuff in the theater so I'm like, well, why don't we just go to my car? <laughs> <laughs> There's, there's less horrible. people there, <laughs> so uh, she she beat the movie. So you sold us out, Steve. <laughs> it was was it a bad time? Uh, great at, uh, I think after that we didn't really last that much longer though. Oh, she must have been really disappointed, Steve. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, it wasn't the well. It was I guess the first time at a theater, but like um, she's seen it before. Granted, I've been. I don't think I've ever been told like by anybody that they've been disappointed. I've had I've had jokes cracked about it though. Oh, uh, we're not gonna get <laughs> we're not gonna get into it here. Maybe like a live stream in the middle, like we get some drinks in me or something. <laughs> get <some> drunk. <laughs> oh, I never officially been drunk. Hey, join the dark side. Stay here. I think you're free. Is it? Is it Hal Jordan? Is that what his name is? Hal something. I think. Hal Hydro. We'll just stick with that. Sure. I was going to say, is that muscle or is he just missing plastic there? I'm like, Where? I think that's supposed to be a muscle. Where? Oh. Oh, you even lift that? <laughs> right there. <laughs> Whew, his joints are fused. He's just really ripped, man. I think. I think that's a plastic cut, but there's it's right there too. Well, I guess that's part of the mold. Isn't that? That's just weird. But yeah, um, he looks good. My only concern is because it looks like his arms are painted, that this could scuff off eventually. Oh, that's paint. Yeah, it's paint right there. Ooh, ugh. it's not plastic. Like you can feel the paint texturing on it. So uh, yeah, you don't mess with this one, huh? Yeah. So I feel like. Why is he wet? You see that? <laughs> yeah. 
What? Uh, oh, um, why is there moisture? Oh, uh, <laughs> I know it's probably some kind of loop. Oh, oh, why is he wet? Arnez, he's been pulling. <laughs> he's been working a little too hard, I guess. Oh. oh. All right, we're done I, with I, you. He I comes did. with a head. He comes with a uh, cross for the beam here. It's got some extra hands. You got that. You have the lantern here too. Like he comes with a crap ton of stuff, which is cool. But again, I'm. I'm solely here for the predator, so. Oh, you messing with that? I want to see this Green Lantern Predator. Working on getting all this stuff up. I like that all of his weapons. It doesn't make much sense that they're translucent to coincide that like he has the ring, so he makes them happen. But doesn't the stuff like show up from the ring? Yeah, it shows up from the ring. So, it would have to be, like, sticking out of the ring, and then... Well, I guess this one kind of makes sense, because you got the pointy end, so you can stick it in there. But, like, how does the... How does that work? <laughs> yeah, how's that work? He has a sword. I'm not sure how that works. Comes with a pair of extra hands. I'm not going to get those out yet. We'll save that for the hodgepodge video. It does have an extra head, though. It'll zoom in. Which looks nice. It's pretty basic overall. But on his back, he has the cannon, and it's translucent. Yeah, I was going to say, this looks sweet. even has, like, a holster for the sword. And again, like, it doesn't make that much sense to me, because it'd be like, it'd have to all come from his ring. Which he does have one on. Oh, he's got plenty of rings. He's got the pimp ring. It's just all knuckles. <laughs> well, I guess he is meant for backhand. <laughs> it's, like, perfectly sculpted. Uh, yeah, no, this looks actually pretty sweet. I like the helmet. It's got a nice metallic silver. Uh, overall, the coloring on him is like a... It's an off yellow. It's like a toxic yellow color. <laughs> I like that. It is toxic yellow, isn't it? Yeah, I, I'm not sure what the symbol on the chest officially means. Because it's definitely not the lantern symbol, right? But it probably is representation of it. In some fashion, it's probably got something to do with him being a predator and has the logo there. I'd have to actually probably look that up. Um, but for the most part, everything else is pretty much pretty basic. I like that he's got a net gun back here. Does it come off? Is that actually just a part of the thing? I think it's a part of the thing. Feels like it's a part of the thing. He has the net gun down here too, though. Which also feels like it's attached. It's got the little hand insert, though. Yeah, no, that's glued on. Um, nothing really on his feet. God, they'd have to hurt to walk around on. Because they're not calloused or anything. Oh, I bet they are. He's got some baby feet. <laughs> I like that, too. That he has, like, he's, like, got gloves on, but, like, zero feet protection. Like, even the original Predator had sandals. <laughs> but, yeah, no, well, I'm, you know, I'm actually, the... I'm digging this one quite a bit. With the power of the uh, ring, they float, so that's why, Steve. Oh, he just doesn't need to walk. He's just like, yeah, Jesus. Just floating, yep. <laughs> All right. Well, anyways, pretty sweet. Overall, liking the set so far. For the most part, he's probably going to actually just go back in the box when I'm done with it. But we'll play with him a little bit, and then we'll do our little hodgepodge review for Super. All right, moving on to Big Chopper. Big Choppy Chop. I was, uh, me and Arnez had a discussion at work. And by discussion, I mean we were arguing. About whether, <laughs> about whether we should be picking this up. Because I was like, I don't know how many people are actually going to be looking for big chaps. And I don't know if I really need one for my collection. Oh, I already see a problem I don't like. Oh, never mind. Yeah, I do. Never mind. But, I said the egg was hollow in the bottom. But oh, it goes on the stand. Yeah, it's meant for the stand. It's actually a lot bigger than the, the other ones from what I could tell. But, um, again, like, uh, people are actually looking for the big chap figure. Because God knows... This guy's been reissued after reissued after reissued. Reissue, reissue. But this one actually has an updated... Joints? Yeah, it's like the articulation's updated on it. I don't have a big chap here. I probably should actually have you, should have had you bring yours to compare the differences. But we can't open that one, Steve. It's Walmart exclusive big chap. Sure. <laughs> Remember? Um, but I know that it, has, it does have update, updated joints and what have you for the most part it looks mostly like similar sculpt wise i should have grabbed a better pair of clippers all right so he's out yep and lost that 
Oh, what's neat is it's like a McFarlane toy where you get the base with it. Like the old McFarlane aliens. Like that's the big chap I have has a base. You know what that base reminds me of? Get out of the face, Edgar. Prometheus. Oh, with the tentacles yes. coming off of it and stuff? Uh, it looks like it sits on there. There's a way it goes in. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's like this. And yeah, that's pretty sweet. See, reminds me of the Prometheus. God, it's so much bigger than the other eggs. If I can reach one. Look at it. <laughs> oh, oh. All right, never mind. I think. Oh, why is eh. spider webs? Uh, the face hugger's bigger too. Ooh. Face hugger's got details underneath that's that I'm just starting to realize. Details. That's kind of cool. Oh, it looks like somebody got poo poo on the bottom of them though. Oh, let me see. Pass it over here. <laughs> I'll hand it over. Uh, chest burster, on the other hand, looks a little under. It's on the chubby side. <laughs> oh, he's got a little arm though. What the heck? That def it's like deformed right there. Did he's got like a little arm? I feel like they made new molds. This for all sort this of. Oh no, this is a hundred percent new. Uh, so is this one? This one's got, a lot bigger. Yeah, he's got a little. T yeah, it's weird. Like this is bigger than the other one, but this one's definitely smaller than. Has protrusions. Oh, but the teeth are painted, and actually the mouth has like some depth to it. I guess uh, this is actually pretty a lot cooler than I thought it was, to be fair. Uh, Big Chap, on the other hand, has the translucent dome, just like in the movie. Can't really see the skeleton head underneath, though, but it is there. You can sort of see some eyes. Uh, Back of the head got some excess clear glue uh -oh. on the top here. Uh, that could just be a cut mark. From the mold? Uh, could be. Uh, maybe something. I might be able to just buff it out, you know. Uh, paint job wise, done in some glossy blacks, grays, a little bit of like a dark brown. While Steve's messing with that, I'm looking at the rhino. Mini mouth comes out actually really easy. That could Jesus. be that could be a little bit of a pain. Uh, but it does have double joints. Oh, Got some nice bendage to him. Oh God, Steve, the legs look like uh, prey mantis legs. Oh, I'm a hunt. I am not believing that thing can stand up on two legs, but thank God it's actually meant to be on four, so it's a winning. Oh, <laughs> I just noticed that's the same stupid design as I'm looking at the tail. Seems good. Double joint knees. Oh, that one's on the loose side. This one's a little bit more sturdy. Uh, all right, he might need some floor pledge on this this knee in particular. I was kind of hoping, like with this, he'd have enough room to actually like hook into something, or maybe even peg. I thought it was for him, but I didn't know it was for the egg. Well, I thought it was maybe like together, like he stood on this and like the egg kind of just sat off to the side, or maybe. And uh, I think sticky tack can't fix. Sure. I think I actually have just naked display bases. I could just put this <laughs> kind of like work it on the base and then put him on the stain because I, I feel like i'm gonna have to do that anyways because like for the most part unless you use the tail as a stain uh, it's the only real ways to get these guys like upright without uh getting something with an arm on it but anyways hand over the rhino you seen our stay at home orders now until june 12. of course it is <laughs> and it'll probably be july here in the near future oh. we'll hit june we'll get to july it'll be great we're breaking the law steve is this essential work? Uh, yes. Sweet. We're providing a service. An indispensable service. I do appreciate that he's not... Like, I feel like I could just rip this out of here if I really wanted to. Please don't. I'm not going to, but I feel like I could. And that's the important part. Uh, Alright, I was going to say there's one more. Okay. Yep, there we go. Sounds like you said hernia. I did say hernia. Yeah. All right, so head sculpt's pretty sweet. It's got a lot of cracks on the top of his head, so you can definitely tell he's been like ramming it into things. <laughs> Giggity. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I just. Oh, this is actually kind of loose too. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> pretty sweet though. I actually like the art. The sculpt on the head's pretty dope. I love that it's translucent too. Like, look at the back of that thing. 
Jesus. It maybe could use some more dry brushing like this. Like I think this throughout the entirety of it would have been pretty cool, but this, I, it replicates the figure more. Yeah. So I'm not opposed to it. But so this review will be fun. There's so, so many little details. So if you, we're gonna see if we get him standing upright. No, you can't. God, he's a monster. In a good way. I feel like if there's a will, there's a way. He's definitely got more. Um... Oh, it kind of feels like there might be like a little ratchet there. Oh, there Sounds is a ratchet. Like... Right, so they're learning. On a high note, I don't. Oh, this is scary, but I'm trying. Oop. So close. Bend them forward just a little. Okay, that's kind of. Oh, got him upright. <laughs> Gee, gra grab a grab a normal alien quickly before it falls over. Any of them, even that guy. So here's the big chap, and that's big chap <laughs> standing next to him. Uh, yeah, even after like reinforcing everything on my mantis alien, it still has issues standing. This guy's currently sitting upright. But it's supposed to be on all fours. Because he's charging. So. But, but Steve. So the head should rear back up. Oh, that comes off? What? Is that supposed to come off? Yeah, it hooks up into that thing back there, yeah. Yeah. Interesting, interesting. So this should rear back like so. And then it's just a lot of hoopla. Articulating essentially. Dude, 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 dude. Not true. Wow, that'll kick a pain in the butt. It's a bit of a pain in the butt to trying to do this from here. Alright, we're gonna move the arms forward a bit. Uh so yeah. I'm actually super pleased with this thing. Which is so scary because like after the pre like our first wave just kind of being eh, to, uh, <laughs> I, I the way they were. Because like the gorilla scary. was like fine but the, that was the only one i felt like um but like wave two was great and then this thing is just like super dope like i love the variety and the plastic and the paint job looks great but he'll get an official review up on the geek chest so will pretty much everything else the only one's gonna have the hodgepodge of the san diego which will end up over up on super important reviews so i'll make sure to look forward to that also that will be on patreon first for the san diego one so if you guys like to help support the channel Definitely recommend going to check that out. There's a bunch of tiers. There's even a Discord now. Yeah. I set that up the other day. So if you guys want to chat about the channel, about figures, or just life in general, good way to keep in contact with us. And help us defeat those kaijus by hitting that like button, subscribe, become a ranger today, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.